Welcome to Slim Drivers, the fast, easy way to update all of your computer's drivers. This overview will show you how to use Slim Drivers management and protection utilities, tools that let you control which drivers are installed in your system, and let you back up and restore driver states. The first two utilities are Slim Drivers backup and restore tools. To make a backup, click on this icon here at the top. This opens the backup dialog. Just like the automatic backup Slim Drivers makes when you update your drivers, these are snapshots of your computer's driver configuration, categorized by date and time. The backup utility lets you actively make backups whenever you want. This feature is a great way to protect your system, not only from unintended changes, but from malicious agents like malware. Backups are similar to Windows Restore Points. Make one to freeze frame your driver profile, and then you can restore it if you ever need to. Inside the backup utility, you see your system's drivers laid out in a tree format. The header lines tell you the category of drivers installed. You can expand or contract a given category by clicking on the control box beside it. Listed beneath the headers are the actual drivers installed. If you want to find out information about a given driver, highlight it and Slim Drivers will display an information brief at the bottom. This gives you a way to be informed about the internal makeup of your computer's device profile. Being informed is the best way to comprehensively manage your system, keeping tabs on your PC's device layout. Slim Drivers lets you back up some or all of your drivers. You can add or remove checks beside individual driver listings, or put a check beside a category. This auto-selects each driver listed in that category. When you're ready to make a backup, you've got two options. Select Backup, and Slim Drivers will save your driver profile to a preset location, a directory specially made to hold the backups. Alternatively, you can tell Slim Drivers where to store your backup. Just select Backup 2, and then specify a location on your computer. To manage your backups, use the Restore tool. You can access it using this icon. This utility works in coordination with the Backup tool. When you open it, it automatically looks for backups in Slim Driver's dedicated folder. If you've never made a backup before, nor you decided to save your backups to a specific location, then the field may be blank. To access a backup you've saved elsewhere, just click Restore From, and then navigate to wherever the backup is on your computer. If you've used Slim Driver's regular backup feature, then all the snapshots you've made should be present, organized by date and time. As with all of Slimware Utilities products, Slim Drivers is built upon the premise of giving you the most control. Go through and actively select or deselect drivers you want to restore. You can specialize your snapshots at any time putting back everything or only those things you want to. When you're ready, click Restore and Slim Drivers will begin the restoration process. When it's finished, Slim Drivers will probably ask you to reboot. Because many drivers are fundamental software elements of your system, you need to restart to manage the way your computer recognizes them. Select Yes and your computer will automatically reboot itself. The final utility is the Driver Uninstaller, represented at the top by this icon. When you open the driver uninstaller, you get a message asking if you're sure you want to uninstall drivers. This is just a precaution. Letting you know that removing a driver or altering its behavior can have major effects in the way your computer performs. Click Yes, and you're presented with an overview of the drivers operating on your system. There are many reasons why someone might want to uninstall a driver. Maybe you have an outdated driver that you want to replace. Maybe you suspect the driver of being corrupted. Or maybe it's simply left over from a device you no longer use. In any case, Slim Driver's Driver Uninstaller makes the process easy. As with the backups, you can review information on the drivers installed and also make specialized selections about which drivers you want to remove and which ones you want to be left alone. To uninstall a driver, put a check in the box beside it and click Uninstall. When you do, Slim Drivers will give you a final precautionary message. To go ahead, put a check in the box and click Yes. Slim Drivers will then probably ask you to reboot your system. Select Yes, and your computer will automatically restart itself, removing the driver completely. That's it! With these three utilities, you can quickly and easily control the way you organize, protect, and remove drivers, making Slim Drivers the one-stop hub for your driver management.